सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन रवि हार्टेस्ट कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फ्रॉम डी एफ ए फैमिली एंड इट्स अ वेरी प्राउड मोमेंट आईज आर फुल ऑफ टीयर ऑन योर सक्सेस एंड वी आर होपिंग अ वेरी ग्रेट फ्यूचर एड ऑफ यू नॉट टेल अस अबाउट योर फैमिली सो फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स डी वी दुग्डा फॉर ऑनरिंग सच सच अ थिंग्स राइट नाउ एंड आई एम अ ग्लेड टू विजिट दिस स्कूल फर्स्टली आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट वी हैव अ जॉइंट फैमिली एंड इट्स अ टीम वर्क दैट होल द फैमिली मेम्बर्स बिहाइंड मी वर्क फॉर दिस एंड द सक्सेस दैट आई डिड आई डिड जस्ट एज अ कैप्टन बट ऑल द टीम वर्क दैट डिड बाई माई पेरेंट्स माई कजन्स एंड ऑल द फैमिली मेम्बर्स आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ द स्टेज wonderful and uh, let me know when you set your goal in which standard you set your goal that you are going to be an administrative officer uh, so when i was in class 9th uh, various teachers comes to ask that uh, in future what could you like to be so one of my friend uh, ganesh was there and used to say that i could be an ias officer so be in a village background i never come to know about ias and ips because we don't know about that such background people don't know that uh, so when i heard from my friend i just uh, asked that what is this and when he when he told me that this is the thing you become an uh, such a person in a life i pursue my career from that and from that onward i take my flight to ad delhi and just try what i have been there right now wonderful, the, wonderful 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 now let me know how many hours did you study for achieving in th- this goal uh how many hours did you study daily sir my prime focus was ias officer to become an ias officer you will be an ias officer this uh-huh. is uh, so whatever the journey that i have i could exp- i would uh, i could uh, i could experience as a ias aspirant uh, could not be an uh, suited for jp aspirant but uh, for ias aspirant i could say that uh, i usually read 11 to 12 hour per day for the last 5 years so after that what i am there sir so what moral lesson did you want to give to your younger generation so that they could also get a chance or they could also crack these kind of examinations from a village background like you so let me tell you some moral lesson that you could provide to the younger generation so when uh, during my phases of uh, preparation for upsc and uh, jpsc i seen that when the people fail in their attempt they usually drop out their ideas after one or two years they drop their ideas i fail four times four years i seen my failures but i never stop i became the teacher for a few time but i never drop my idea to become and a good officer in the jharkhand and i am very happy that i am a dsp in jharkhand and second thing sir younger generation could learn learn that their failure doesn't means that they are ending their life failures comes only because you are now are near to the success because after success nothing is failed so when you see failures it is just a trailer of your success that's why i personally think that sir last but not the least to whom you owe your success sir uh, if i started it it could be a very difficult for me to choose a single person it's a team work i have already uh, told you that uh, from very beginning that i thank i would like to thank the teachers of dav dugda who has been a part in our that's life that's great that's great we are honored and uh, again when i th- because this is the socialization part when i did my 1 to class 10th the base was ready by dav dugda and i would like to thanks for that my parents okay. my brothers my friends and very special one i t- does not disclose the name they are the things who always supported me and I, what i am is the result of all the team work that have been done by them do you find do you find anyone from your family have achieved this much of success sir i uh, from your my family, family i doesn't have any a government job we are uh, just a just small businessman and this is the first thing <laughs> that i am achieved this sir thank you very much sir thank you bilfan wishing you a great life ahead of you okay now we are hoping for an indian foreign service all teachers are saying that you can uh, this is just a platform you were standing on and your future goal is way ahead sky is your limit thank you very much i have yes um, thank you
So you are visiting this school after quite a few years. Now, let me know what changes you are noticing in during this period. So first of all, I want to tell that I just passed out in class 10th in 2010. So that time the school was was just like uh, in ancient India and what I am seeing is a postmodern India today. Right. Uh, and if you see from the starting gate, the flowers, the statue, the ambience of the school, the playground is now re become renovated there. We all have such kinds of things in the school that could be a model school for other to be followed. I have seen I have seen many things in the new, the toilet has been now renovated there. The classes has been now has been having a good boards. The chalk that we are using are in a good, uh, good uh, dustless chalk is there. Computer lab has now become renovated and with a full. There is a parents gallery which has been a dream for us to have this. So I would like to really thanks all the teachers and all the staff members who behind this renovation. And I would like to see much more than this in the near future. Thank you. Thank you.